Okay there guys, so let's have a chat about the North Connex Tunnel in Sydney. So there's been a fair bit of controversy about all that type of stuff, uh, about not using Pandils Road, all that. Now I've intentionally not got into the debate because I pretty well wanted to go down the tunnels a couple of times and make up my own opinion without uh, outside sources influencing that. So I've now done that, I've gone southbound once, northbound twice. Uh, the southbound scenario I was in, I was actually running a little bit late getting into Sydney, so it was around the, the lunchtime mark, and when I hit the tunnel, it took me six minutes to get through, didn't break speed, pretty happy with that. Um, so it worked in that scenario. The, going northbound once, had to go up and, and load out of Hornsby. Bit frustrating because normally you would go up Pandils Road, but it was nice and easy and got off, and I did ultimately save a bit of time there too. And on Saturday, uh, probably, about lunchtime, I suppose, had a northbound, again, didn't break speed, got straight out of the tunnel. Whereas all those scenarios sitting on Pennydale's Road during the day, uh, probably looking at about 20, 25 minutes at, at a guess, uh, on average, I suppose. So I would actually be more than happy on those three occasions to pay the 25 bucks to go through the tunnel. Uh, I think on every occasion that would be the case. In my view, uh, the only time that you may or may not use the tunnel in Penn Hills Road instead is gonna be that between 11 p.m. and you know 5 a.m. mark. But at the same time, when it comes into fatigue and, and actual what driver's seat, I think within myself, even at those times, I'm still just gonna whiz through the tunnel. You know, I'm gonna go, it's 25 bucks, I'm going through, or I can go down Penn Hills. I think a lot of drivers, even if given the option of both, are still gonna use the tunnel regardless. The, the only thing that I think may be a slight issue is if there's an accident or something within the tunnel, you don't actually have uh, another alternative. So maybe that's something to look at. But I would say nine out of 10 scenarios when I'm driving as a, a, you know, a 7 a.m. to midnight driver, nine out, of time, nine out of 10 occasions, I would opt to use the tunnel without a problem because three times I've used it, runs efficiently from what I gather at the moment. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of traffic sort of coming in and out that potentially can clog it up like a standard freeway. So at my end, um, it gets a great light from me. It gets a tick. So I think it's got to be a very good thing. Something that is probably 20 years too late, but it's here and I think it's got to be great. Anyway, guys, so I, I got a bit of footage for you headed northbound through it if you haven't been through. A uh, couple of nice little things you can look at there, but at the end of the day, it's a tunnel. Cheers. I tell you what, let's do a little bit of running commentary anyway. So take the Pernod Hills Road exit like you normally would, keep over to your left, and you're in the tunnel. You've got these little uh, lit up uh, feature bits here, I think to break up the tunnel a little bit so, so you don't get so complacent. But for the most part, it's pretty lit up, which I'm happy with. That's a sort of day feel about it, which is a bit different to other tunnels. I really like that. Encourages people to uh, keep at speed as I come up to the Hornsby exit. Keep in mind there are uh, average speed cameras in the tunnel. That bloke obviously didn't know that, but that's pretty well it. You can now get the North Connex Tunnel on the Truck Wiz Navigational app. Check out the App Store and download it today.